Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Momentum Monday. So I want to tell you about a book I'm reading right now called Rising Strong by Brene Brown. So I love this book and Brene Brown is a uh, PhD and a social worker who, um, you know, studies relationships and emotions and really her big practice is um, dealing with fear and shame as well. But the thing I like about Rising Strong is she goes on to explain how in our mind we are storytellers. We create stories, whether they're good or bad, about circumstances that we're going through. That is so true for me. Um, think about it this way. Have you ever been going through a circumstance, um, whether good or bad, you don't quite have all the facts, but your brain begins to fill them in, whether someone you know, um, didn't return a phone call or whether they, they showed up or didn't show up or um, you know, someone uh, made a gesture during a meeting and it made you feel a particular way. Your mind just starts racing and you start telling yourself this whole story because we have a need to, to complete the story. So what that does, the danger in that are, are, or what is um, in the research indicates are the most dangerous stories are about our lovability, our divinity, and then our creativity and ability. So the most impactful to your emotional health are gonna be on, on those particular categories. Now, this book is wonderful and I really suggest that you read it. But one thing I did wanna tell you about is something that she calls the shitty first draft or the SFD. And so many of us would benefit from writing out, you know, releasing all those thoughts and those emotions from our body from pen to paper. The reason that pen to paper is so valuable is a couple things. One, you can talk to a good friend, but in the back of your mind, you're always going to be worried about saying too much or being judged. And that doesn't have any, you know, ranking on the importance of the friendship. It's just a matter of we don't feel our, our most open when we know someone else may hear what we think. So writing it out allows you to be as open and as free, knowing that no one is ever going to read it. And the reason that it's called an SFD is that it has no organization. It is literally a stream of conscious about how you're feeling about a situation. All the feelings, good, bad, fear, um, light, dark, it doesn't really matter, but it's about getting it out of your body. And then the other thing is as you begin to write, you can help really understand where your challenges are with that particular scenario. What is it? Is it, you know, maybe it's a relationship um, challenge that you're going through, but it's really fear-based and it's really worth-based. And as you go through that exercise, you can really identify the areas that you can focus on um, and improve upon. So I know this was a little bit of an emotional topic, but as we go through this exploration of life, we're gonna to have to, to face these emotions and face how we, we deal with them and engage with ourselves, how we talk to ourselves, how we listen to our bodies, how we listen to our minds, and that will make us better people in the end. Have a great Monday, great week. I'll see y'all next week.